Hello there. Uh, I'm continuing our uh, training sessions uh, today, uh, so we'll still be using this um, Lev Albert uh, famous packet book. And uh, let's just go uh, further uh, and uh, do four more positions uh, for today. Okay, so let's begin with the puzzle number one. Okay, so uh, this is the position. It's uh, white turns to move, so please uh, be free to pause uh, the video now and uh, try to find the best continuation for white. Okay, so uh, the, the solution to this puzzle is uh, the famous uh, so-called windmill uh, pattern. The windmill occurs uh, when uh, the king has only two squares to go and you can uh, use uh, the combination of your rook and the bishop to almost perpetually check um, check the king and then just uh, by by moving the rook you, you can wipe out all the your opponent's pieces so the combination begins by uh, sacrificing the queen so uh, bishop to f6 and now you will see that uh, black will take the queen and uh, white will get this uh, windmill pattern by the way black in this so black takes the queen uh, black is oscar and uh, white is tore this is from the game from the World uh, Chess Championship in 1925. So after black took the queen, now white has a typical windmill uh, pattern. So check. Uh, king has only one legal move, king h8. And now the, the rook can go all over the board and checking each time it moves. So it becomes the pawn with the check. King has to move. You have to go back with the check. King has to move. Then you pick up another piece. King has to move, then you give a check, King has to move again, and now, now you, you need to be uh, careful in which order uh, you, you want to uh, capture stuff, because uh, the most important uh, for your opponent's piece is the Queen, so once you have picked up two pawns and the Bishop, now you can just uh, go for the Queen, so Rook G5, uh, King H7 uh, was played in the game, so uh, Rook takes H5, he just uh, takes back the the queen. Uh, king g6 was played, and uh, well, you can see that uh, Lasker doesn't give up easily, so he's now uh, double attacking the piece, uh, the two pieces, and he tries to uh, maintain the uh, material ba uh, balance. But uh, White well, just played uh, rook h3 here, and after King uh, captured the bishop, uh, rook h6 check. And uh, if you can count the, the material, of course, this, this all uh, has to be very carefully calculated by, by Tore before sacrificing the queen. And now if you uh, count down the material, you can see that the white is uh, two points up. And being two point, points up in this um, clear end game is a, a, winning, a winning advantage. Okay, I would like to go uh, through this uh, once uh, once again because uh, I, I really think this is instructive uh, to see. It's a windmill pattern, a uh, very famous uh, pattern, and uh, you can even encounter it, encounter it uh, from time to time in, in your games. Okay, so uh, this was uh, the position, and now so uh, the windmill pattern is uh, the coordination between rook and, and uh, Bishop and now so uh, White calculated that uh, after playing the bishop f6 he can come with the rook. Wipe, sorry, I forgot to put the bishop here. So he can come come with the rook, wipe out all these pieces, and then eventually come come up for uh, for the queen. So uh, let's let's quickly play uh, play this uh, sequence. So after queen takes, rook takes, check, king moves, check, king moves again. Check, king moves, check, king moves, check, king moves, and now let's come to, for the queen, check, king moves, pick up the queen, Lasker tries to, to gain some advantage, but now just move the rook, he takes the bishop and the check, and white is up to two points. So try to remember this windmill pattern, it can be very useful. Uh, let's go to the position number two now. Okay, so this is the position. It's uh, again right uh, to move. So uh, you can pause the video now and try to find the best uh, continuation for a white in this position. Okay, so uh, the motive in this puzzle is a uh, skewer. Skewer means when you 
uh, check the king uh, and then behind the king it's another piece which you can capture. So the first keyword you can uh, see is uh, king, uh, queen takes uh, h7 but it doesn't work because just uh, king e6 and the queen is protected. So you, you, you cannot skewer um, in, in this way effectively. But you can think about, if you see this, uh, this pattern, you can think about what if the queen was uh, further away from the king. So what if uh, after, after this move, uh, king cannot protect the queen, then uh, you will win the queen. So if you see this, uh, this pattern, and if you ask yourself the right questions, then you can find the winning combination, and this is rook to c7. Now pinning the so uh, skewer is if is if, if rook was there, this would be skewer, and now this is pin. So pinning the uh, the queen to the king, and uh, the queen has to has to move, and now king h7. Check. And now king has to move. It, it cannot move. Uh, it, it cannot defend the queen anymore. So the the king moves, and you check and just pick up the queen. So. This is the, the the solution to the puzzle. Let's just go uh, quickly once once again, just to make sure I get it right. Okay. So first you notice if you if you skewer here, you don't you doesn't uh, achieve anything because the king can protect uh, uh, the the king can protect the queen. So you decoy the queen, so force the queen to move one one square away from the king, and now after check, the queen is lost. Okay, let's go to the position number three now. Okay, now this is the position. Uh, again, it's why it's trying to move. And, uh, well, pause the video and try to find the uh, solution of this puzzle uh, for white. Okay, uh, you can see that, uh, well, this uh, materially speaking, it's uh, about, about equal. And uh, dynamically speaking, you can see that black has uh, lots of lots of threats. The main threat is this discovered uh, discovered check. So what can uh, what could white do it? Uh, white uh, do here? Well, uh, maybe if if you are uh, too hasty and uh, if, if you don't uh, uh, think about all all possible uh, checks, captures, and threats from your opponent, uh, you should be tempted to play something like uh, queen to c8. And thinking, well, it's it's a checkmate. So if he if he tried to block, I'm just checkmate him. Okay, but uh, this this is a, in fact the losing move. So this puzzle is just another another trap uh, for you. So if you play uh, queen to c8, then rook to f8 is check because it's this discovered check. King has to move, and then you lose your queen. Okay, so in in this position, this uh, queen to c8 is not. Is not a wise decision. In fact, uh, the forcing move for White, if he wants to remain in the game, is just to play uh, King H1, and now the game is is very open. Uh, both sides has uh, have the chances. Okay, uh, let's do uh, puzzle number four uh, and uh, the last puzzle for today. Okay, so this is the position again. It's a uh, White uh, White turn to move. So. Uh, please pause the video and try to find the best uh, continuation for white. Okay, I hope you managed to find the solution. It's a tricky one because it's an unusual pattern uh, called Four Knights Mate. And, uh, but on the other hand, it's not so difficult because uh, the combination are ju is, is just uh, forcing moves. So, uh, first, when you solve any tactical uh, position in, in, the, in, in the, your training sessions, and also in the game, if you have reasons to believe that there could be some uh, tactical opportunities on the board. And here, if this was a real game, you can see that, well, both of your knights and queen are very, very close to the king. So it's most likely that there will be some tactical shot. Then you need to look for the most forcing moves first. And the most for forcing move is check. So you have to look all checks and uh, eventually you, you will find the solution. So the solution is to sack the queen, uh, queen to f7 check. Well, the only legal move for black is to take with the knight, and then you have this beautiful um, knight e6 uh, checkmate. So this is the four, four knights uh, checkmate. Not, not very common uh, pattern, but nevertheless, uh, it's, it's not so difficult to find because, like I said, so let's do it again. You only, all you need to do is to 
uh, look for forcing moves and if you see this move the only response from black is uh, to take with the knight and then knight e6 is a checkmate. Okay, uh, that will be, be it for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video uh, and I hope that you, you are hitting pause and uh, actively engaging in, in these kind of sessions because this will uh, surely benefit you uh, for your game a lot because we will go through many many different positions, uh, patterns and uh, some of it can be applied in your games as well. See you very soon with more chess and cheers.